Do you ever wonder how diesel after treatment worked? I didn't know, but you know what? That's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2018 Vision High Tech Conference, and I'm right here in the Console Lab booth, and we're visiting them again. We do this every year. But hey, guess what? Today I've got Jeff Curtis with me, and Jeff knows so much about this diesel after treatment, uh, and he's got a system cut away here. I don't know much about this. Jeff, tell us, first of all, how does this work, and, and, and how is it relevant today? Well, this is our new EC490 exhaust after treatment cutaway. And this is a representative of most everything in the uh, in the marketplace today, uh, this one happens to be a light duty pickup based on a Ford platform. So this shows all of the parts of the diesel after treatment system. We've also incorporated LEDs uh, and then lighted areas to show where the things are happening and where the chemicals and the uh, compounds are being removed. So do the LEDs kind of correspond with? The yes, the LEDs correspond. So. This one starts at the beginning at number one. Uh, the exhaust from the engine goes in. Uh, we have a, a diesel oxidation catalyst. And then we go to the mixing chamber where we actually add the DEF fluid. Here, so you can see the, uh, the spray of the DEF fluid that comes in. And then it gets mixed, swirled, and then travels here to the, uh, the SCR, the Selective Catalytic Reduction Unit where the NOx is pulled out of the exhaust stream. So NOx is that visible uh, pollutant that we see in the air, that brown stuff in the, in the horizon. Right, so, so we take that nitrate, or oxide or oxide, oxide to nitrogen, to nitrogen. mixing with hydrocarbons in sunlight. We talked about this, and now you've got photochemical smog, and like Jeff said, it's like brown, gray stuff, or yeah. yellow stuff sometimes, right? So the diesel exhaust fluid is, is uh, you know, 32 and a half percent uh, urea and water, very pure mixture, and it's, so it's going to reduce the uh, oxides of nitrogen to uh, just nitrogen and water. That's what that stuff does. Oh, yep. thank you, Jeff. Yep. All right, so then what happens? Well, then we go through the diesel particulate fil filter. So if there's any particulate left in the exhaust stream, it's going to be caught up in the diesel particulate filter. And that also has a regeneration cycle. So, and that's, on this particular engine, that's done by uh, adding fuel into the um, uh, combustion chamber in the engine. So that we can actually, this collects the soot, and then when the uh, sensors, which are all shown here, show that the uh, uh, particulate filter needs to be reduced, and the contents of the particulate filter, the soot, need to be re reduced to ash, it does that regeneration cycle. Where this is important for the student studying this system is that you can see each uh, process as it happens, and the lights light up visually to show each section. That there's the section lit up now. So the lights follow it through all the way from the inlet of the exhaust to the outlet of the exhaust. These are all graphically shown. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. And so this is really one great big long thing. Yes. You've got it broken down. I had no idea it was as complicated as it seems to be. But if I was a student listening to you right now and looking at this stuff, I can follow the progression through this device. And I think I understand it a little bit better. I hope, hope you do too. Yeah. But uh, Jeff, tell us a bit more about um, now, we know Console Lab uh, makes these things, and they're, uh, by the way, Console Lab, as you probably remember, those of you who have seen the other videos we've done with these folks, uh, produce these training aids for, you know, schools and stuff. And so if you're interested and you're a teacher or you're a school and would like to get a hold of one of these things, be sure you contact Console Lab. And their uh, information will be in the description down below. But what I wanted to ask you was, um, on, on th these things, you, you make these, how long does it take to put one of these things together? Oh, you know, I haven't seen the man hours on this, but it's, it's pretty healthy. Uh, uh, we have really some of the artists in the industry working in our, our workshops. So these are all cut. They're all cut in environmentally friendly situations, mm -hmm. so nobody's getting hurt. And then we have electrical engineers and mechanical engineers that put together all the different 
parts of this. So, you know, these are all hand cut and hand made. So we buy a, a complete after treatment system. As you can see, this one was quite long. The beauty of our products are this fits through a normal classroom door. So, you know, and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your classroom. So if it was really long, we would have that problem of how are we going to store this thing? It's, it's big and huge. That really solved that problem of portability and you, yes. where, where you're going to put it in your, in your classroom. Yes. All right, so uh, one final thing. How do they get a hold of Council Lab? Uh, if they're, they get more questions about this or if you guys want to buy one? www.councillab.com. You can follow us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram. Awesome. Okay, we'll put that information in the description of the video down below. So look down there. Uh, if you have comments or questions, put those in the, uh, in the comment section down below so the folks at Console Lab can answer those for you because you know I'm not going to. These guys are going to answer them. So ask your questions, and I think you're going to be glad that you did.